Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a book haul of sorts. So just to say everything in the background is a little bit different and I know that. Um, I got some new bookshelves and I changed things around. I will be doing a full room tour because I remember when I first moved in a lot of people, hold on, I'm having wardrobe problems. I might be doing a room tour or something along those lines. I don't really want to do a bookshelf tour but a lot of people have asked me to do a bookshelf tour and now that I have new bookshelves it just makes sense. But I I have gotten my room almost done and I remember a lot of you asking me to do a room tour when I first moved in so that might be a thing that I do but just hold on out for that because I'm not completely done yet. My bookshelves are still in shambles. They just look good for this video, so. <laughs> but yeah, so this book haul is going to be a little bit different. The last time I saw you, since the last time I saw you, the only books that I have bought and have been from Book Outlet, and there's only four. And then I have one that was sent to me by an author, and then I have another little thing that I want to talk about. But other than that, that's all I really have. You're like, Sarah, why are you showing us five books and a little thing? Well, because I am going on a book buying ban. And if you guys know my best friend Lindsay and you follow her channel, you know that she already did a video about this book buying ban and what it consists of and things like that. And since then, there has been like a Twitter army and we're all going on a book buying ban. And basically, this ban is going to try to limit myself so that way I can read as many of my TBR books as I can. So as you can see, almost all of these fantasy books that I have, I have not read yet. I want to read them. I just keep buying more and more fantasy and I don't read them fast enough. And the more I buy them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not reading them as fast as I can. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing is for every two books that I read, I can buy one book. So I have a whole list of books on my, me and Lindsay have a spreadsheet. It's a whole intricate thing. We've got it going on over there on Google+. Plus, But, on Google Docs. But what basically what I'm doing is right now I have put the four books that I bought on the list and I have put in the books that I've read this month and it tells me how many books I have to go before I can buy a book. And so I will be adding things to this list and it'll be growing and I'll be buying books and then reading books and it'll tell me if I can buy a book and things like that and how many books I can buy and all of that stuff. So it's going to be very controlled and it'll help me a lot and I think it's going to be super awesome. So I will link Lindsay's video down below because she explains it way better than I did. But yeah, that is pretty much the, what my book buying ban is and why you probably won't be seeing a lot of book hauls for me from me um, probably once a month which is what I already do but it'll be less books and it won't be until the end of the month and things like that so that's that let's jump into the things that I bought since the last time I made a book haul which is not that many <laughs> all right the first thing that I want to talk about is my old thing that I got and if you don't know already um, Emily from Obsessed Reader I think that's what she changed her, her name. Her name used to be X Obsessed Reader X on here on Booktube, but I think it's just Obsessed Reader. Anyway, I'll link her channel down below. She is making bookmarks now, and she has a whole Etsy shop, and she sent me a bookmark that was personalized and asked me to make a video about it, and so of course I said I would totally love doing that because who doesn't love getting bookmarks? Because I totally love getting bookmarks. And so I thought I would go ahead and make put though this in my book call so that way you guys can see it and see what's up. So basically this is what the bookmark looks like and I will throw in a close-up clip of it. It is freaking awesome and I love it to death. She kind of has a forum on Google that you can fill in and she asks you, you know, what your favorite books are, favorite Disney princess, favorite quotes, you know, favorite actors, favorite all that kind of stuff and favorite song lyrics and so she asks all that stuff and then she kind of corporate incorporates it into your bookmark and it's really awesome. So just a few things that I have on here um, just really quickly. I have, I asked her, she told me like, who, you know, I told her that my favorite actors are Jensen Ackles, I have a huge crush on Jensen Ackles and Charlie Hunnam. So she put a cute picture of Charlie Hunnam without a shirt on, so that was awesome. And I died laughing when I saw it, it's amazing. Thank you, Emily. And then she put a picture of Dean, because Dean Winchester is my husband. And then Pocahontas is my favorite princess, so she put that on there. And then all of my Rock Chick books are on here, Books and Junk is on here, Booktube's on here, Kelsey Ayer's on here, because he's my favorite character from Brandis Harrison's novels. Um, a couple of quotes that I have on here is the one, I, I quote, I quote this quote all the time. It's a Brandis Harrison quote. It's from Hoyt, it's from Stormlight, from Stormlight, and I have it on my Twitter and stuff, so it's been around town, but the quote says, the purpose of a story storyteller is not to tell you how to think, but to give you questions to think upon. Too often we forget that, and I love that quote. 
And then I also have another quote and it says, Knowing, having a soft heart in a cruel world is courage, not weakness. And then um, I just have my favorite lyric, which I'm not going to read because it's slightly embarrassing. Yeah, so that's just basically what this is. And then on the back, it has her little um, design from where it's at. And her Etsy shop is called etsy.com slash shop slash simply emily designs and i will link that in the description as well this is a great quality bookmark she also packs it like the way it comes it, it comes with two like white uh, pieces of cardboard on either side and duh you can totally use those for bookmarks as well i mean you get basically you get three bookmarks for one because the way she packs it so <laughs> I just thought that'd be super awesome to share. But anyway, I really, really enjoy this. I think it's really awesome. I think Emily does an amazing job with bookmarks. She has so many on her Etsy shop, and she's got some really cool ones. So I highly recommend go checking her out. And yeah, I really like it. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into the books that I got this month. Well, this whatever past, oh, how many ever days it was. Okay, the first one that I got is the one that was sent to me, and that is Ignite by Lily Paradis. And she one of her, like her assistant or whatever, uh, reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to read this and I was a little hesitant. I've seen a lot of people re get this book, haul it, um, but I've not seen a lot of reviews about it yet and I wasn't totally sold on the concept, but then I saw a couple of people come out with reviews and they were all really high and Goodreads has a very high rating of it and, and so I thought, you know what, why not try to give it a try? Why not try to give it a try? Why not try to give it a try and read it and see what you think of it and things like that. And she signed it too. She's super sweet and signed it for me. And so I'm really excited to read it. Basically, what I know of it is about this girl and she has to somehow, she has all of a sudden has, like, it's about this girl. Her name is Lauren, Lauren Lindsay. Lauren Lindsay, that's hilarious. Anyway, her name is Lauren and she has to all of a sudden raise these children and her dad dies and she has little siblings, I think. Um, three children, I don't know who they are, um, but basically she has to raise these three children. And then she is really scared, she's young, and she meets this guy named Dean. And then he has, they have immediate connection. Dean has a little bit of a shady past, but she, she, I don't know, she's intrigued, so yeah, that was the worst synopsis I've ever given on a book, but basically that's what it's about. <laughs> it's about her raising these children and meeting Dean. I will say, no spoilers, I don't think, um, this concept reminds me a little bit of Slammed, so, of the Slam series by Colleen Hoover, so... I'm excited to read it and see what I think of it. Okay, the next four books that I got are all from Book Outlet, and I am telling you Book Outlet has the most amazing deals on hardcover fantasy novels. I'm not joking. I get the most expensive hardcover books on there for $5, and it is amazing. So, Book Outlet, thank you. <laughs> the first one I have is not a hardcover, though, and that is Old Man's War by John Scalzi. This is a science fiction, adult science fiction novel, and it I don't really know what it's about. I've heard great things about John Scalzi. Lindsay loves him and I really want to get into science fiction. I want to read more science fiction so I thought I'd pick this up. They had it on there. What the hey. The next one that I have is Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Now, okay, there's some controversy around this book. I was not planning on ever reading this book, but like I said, I want to get into science fiction. This is a staple in science fiction and I feel like it's something that I need to read and so I picked it up and then I, I incidentally got this beautiful cover. It is so freaking amazing. It sparkles and I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited to read it. Even like the inside, it's just, okay. Sarah, stop gushing about the book covers. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm excited to read this. I have a thing going on, which I don't know if the video will be up before this video about what, what's going on with Ender's Game, but I will have more information about this. I'll be reading this next month. And yeah, so that's kind of really, um, really sly, it doesn't really give you a lot of information, but I want you to look out for that video, so I don't know if it's up yet or not. But basically, Ender's Game is an adult science fiction book, and I don't know much about it. I have not seen the movie. I will read the book, then watch the movie, and yeah, I don't really know. Like I said, it's got a lot of controversy around it, and Orson Scott Card, I should say, has a lot of controversy around himself, so yeah. But I'm excited to read this, and I think it'll be fun and yeah. Alright, so this next one was a slight impulse buy. I have been trying to accumulate some books off of NPR's top 100 science fiction and fantasy um, list. I want to read some of the books that are on there and this one was on Book Outlet for really cheap and I thought, you know what? 
what the hey. <laughs> so I ended up getting it. it. It weighs like 600 pounds. It's really heavy. Um, it is called The Mists of Avalon, and this is a retelling of, um, well, it's not really a retelling, but it is the it is following the women of like the whole Knights of the Round Table, so it's following the guys' as women, and um, basically it's about their stories and about how, you know, what they were doing. Oh God, it's so heavy! I can't lift it. What they were doing in this time era and all that time, all, it, what they were doing during the story and things like that. So I'm really excited to get to it. It's on the list, and I got this amazing cover um, that looks like it was published in the 19. 90s. Let's see what time it was published. Oh my god, it's so friggin' heavy. How am I going to read this? 1982! It was published in 1982. Okay, just kidding. That was when the original story was published. It was actually pu this This version was published in 2000. So, 90s? Okay. I said 90s, didn't I? <laughs> um, anyway, this is a chunker of a book. It weighs 500 pounds, like I've said a million times, and it's about 800 pages or so. So, 850 pages. Um, but I'm really excited to get to it. I think it's going to be awesome. It'll probably take me a long time to get through it. I'll probably read chunks of it here and there. But overall, I'm really excited to read it. Okay, the next one that I bought is one that Lindsay and I are planning on reading together. Um, it is also on the NPR's Top 100 list, and it was also on Book Alley for super cheap. So, I got it. I'm not getting these these two books. The, the book that I'm about to show you and Miss of Avalon together cost like $75. Like together in real life if I bought them retail they would be $75 but I bought them both for like 10 bucks so I think actually they're both like more around the $10 range so it's probably more like 20 bucks but whatever still it's a good deal. The book that I got was a bind up of the first Three Sword of Shinarana, Shinarana, um, by Trilogy, and this is the first trilogy. This is the one to start out with first, and because um, like Terry Brooks has a bunch of books, right? And the Sword of or the Shinara books, there's a bunch of these as well. So you have this trilogy, and then you have another trilogy, and then you have another trilogy, and they are all a Shinaran trilogy. But the Sword of Shinaran is the first trilogy to start out with, and then he has like the Genesis, the Genesis of Shinara trilogy, and then he has another one. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but this one, I done my research, I done it, I done my research and this is the first one to start out with. So, let's see how many pages this is. 1,030, 7,073, 1,084, 1,088, 1,091, almost, it's 1,191 pages, so almost 1,200 pages of story. And I'm really excited to read it. I think Lindsay and I are going to be reading the first one sometime soon, so yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for all this old fantasy. I want to read all the fantasy. Okay, so that was my four or five books and bookmark thing that I wanted to haul and my book buying band talk I wanted to say. So, that is all I have for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the books down below. Let me know if you are planning on purchasing any books from Book Outlet and what are they. Let me live vicariously through you because I can't buy books right now. And let me know what guy, what books you guys have been buying recently. I'm curious to see. Like I said, I'm going to be living vicariously through you. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!